Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss an underwater volcanic eruption that filled the stratosphere with 150 metric megatons of water vapor. A high-intensity eruption occurred in the underwater volcano Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai in 2022, which led to a powerful tsunami throughout Tonga. But this event also had another lasting effect, which was the launch of high amounts of aerosol and water vapor plumes towards the sky. This was the largest underwater explosion to have ever been recorded by modern scientific instruments. The scientists examined how the eruption of volcano hunger impacted the climate in the southern hemisphere in the next two years. The scientists discovered that there was a stronger cooling effect from volcanic aerosols reflecting sunlight into outer space after the eruption in comparison to the warming that happened because of heat getting trapped by the water vapors in the atmosphere. Satellite data was used by the researchers to examine how stratospheric aerosols, gases, and temperatures had changed after the eruption. It was discovered that the hunger eruption poured 150 metric megatons of water vapor into the stratosphere. This is a very high amount and has increased global levels of stratospheric water vapor by about 10%. In the tropical stratosphere, the massive water injection led to the cooling of temperatures by 4 degrees Celsius. The temporary cooling led to the formation of a secondary circulation pattern because of which ozone levels started reducing throughout 2022. The hunger eruption also led to the release of 0.5 and 1.5 metric megatons of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. Sulfur dioxide produces sulfate aerosols which reflect sunlight and can lead to a reduction in surface radiative forcing or the difference between outgoing and incoming radiation. This can also cause global cooling if enough amount of aerosol is loaded as was the case in the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo, during which 20 metric megatons of sulfur dioxide was released. The hunger aerosol load was not huge and had confined effects on the southern hemisphere in 2022 and 2023. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.